When it comes to art, Maxime Drouet makes no compromises, legal or not. Drouet's canvas is the train, graffiti his art form. Under the alias Monk, he's been doing art his way, usually against the law, for over 20 years. The Frenchman now concentrates on decommissioned trains. He reassembled them for the Urban Art Biennale. Alors le, le rapport est il est entier puisque toute la démarche est illégale. Le, le fait de pénétrer dans le site SNCF est interdit, le fait de peindre c'est interdit, le fait de récupérer les fenêtres c'est interdit et de les présenter aussi. Donc la démarche est entièrement euh, illégale mais euh, mais elle est euh, elle est belle. Beautiful, original and not seldom on the brink of the legal. That sums up the aesthetic ideals of many of the artists invited to the Urban Art Biennale. The exhibition itself throws the spotlight on the artistic value of their work. The play of colors on the purloined windows and doors in Maxime Drouet's work recalls the light effects of a church's stained glass windows. They become a kind of cathedral of the subculture. Et, et moi, je continue à faire du graffiti conventionnel avec tout, tout, tout cette, toute cette partie-là. L'adrénaline, donc du coup, je l'ai toujours et j'ai aussi, je suis un compétiteur et aujourd'hui, j'ai de l'adrénaline dans la... Ce qui compte dans le graffiti, c'est la réussite et ce qui compte aujourd'hui dans ce que j'expose, c'est la réussite aussi. De réussir, voilà, je veux réussir et ça, c'est toujours de l'adrénaline. La compétition, c'est de l'adrénaline. Every two years, the city of Folklingen invites artists to the complex of the decommissioned Folklingen Ironworks to present the latest trends in urban art. The festival brings the subculture together with affluent art collectors. Like most of the participating artists, Maxime Drouet completes his own entry on site. Large format works share the space with modern miniatures, like those by German sculptor Jan Forman. I've been invited to the Urban Art Biennale to restore the factory a little bit with the Klemmbausteins. And here, in special, I'm going to build some little Referenzen zum, zur Umgebung ein, weil es hier wirklich so, also die Architektur ist ja un, unglaublich, äh, einfach unglaublich, da fehlen mir schon fast die Worte wieder. Canadian artist Rhodesworthy planned his work before the war in Ukraine broke out. It has since acquired a new relevance. The letters can only be read from far above. Zu lesen ist die Fonte War Machine, also die alimentieren sie die Kriegsmaschinerie. Und das ist natürlich die Botschaft der Stunde. Und es ist ein höchst pazifistischer äh, und humanistischer Ansatz. The steel once produced at these ironworks was also used to make weapons. Artist Hendrik Beikerch interprets another aspect of the ironworks history, the guest workers. Thousands of them came to Folklingen in the 1960s. One was Kai Erhan, who worked at the ironworks for over 30 years, up until the blast furnaces were extinguished for good. Now, a large format portrait of him can be seen here. Die Örtlichkeit nimmt ja auch wieder äh, Bezug auf die Geschichte. Das war der Arbeitsweg vom Herr Urhan. Das ist er dann quasi täglich gegangen auf dem Weg zur Arbeit. Und das setzt schon ähm, dem Herr Urhan ein Denkmal, aber auf einer übergeordneten Ebene einfach auch dem Arbeiter. Seeing his portrait fills Kai Erhan with pride. It's recognition at long last for him and all guest workers. A Turk is a very beautiful feeling for me. I love it, I love it, I love it. I am going to do a good job. I am going to show you the future. I am going to put my hands on Turkey. The Folklingen Ironworks provide a backdrop for a young art genre as it moves from the streets into the exhibition halls.